Hi everyone. So, it's been a really long time, but I'm back with a couple new videos, and I have something I figured you might like to see. So, I no longer have the demo system on the wall that you're probably used to seeing from my old videos, but I still wanted to have something I could mess around with whenever I get in the mood. So, I built a demo board, and, uh, well, I actually built two demo boards, and you're going to get to see the other one in a video that I'll make after this one. Um, and I wanted it to be portable, so it's on wheels. I don't really have a permanent place to display it, um, but I've designed it so that I can pull it out whenever I feel like messing with it and then store it away. Now, one thing you might notice, this is an all-simplex system with a 4010. And you might also notice that there's a True Alert speaker strobe. So, that can only mean one thing. If you guessed Simplex 4003, you were correct. I've uh, had it for kind of a long time, but for some reason it just took me a long time to do anything with it. But I put it on the board and it works really well. And uh, let's zoom in to take a bit of a closer look. So, here it is. And if you take a look down here, you can see that I have conduit connecting it through to the other side. And uh, this provides its power and also connects it to the 4010. So when the NAC on the 4010 activates, um, it just activates the 4003. So let's open it up here. It's a little dirty on the inside. I still need to clean it out. Um, but we've got the microphone. Uh, there is a system trouble because I don't have any end-of-line resistors on the speaker circuits yet. Um, but at some point I'm going to do that. Let's uh, test out the microphone here. So, when you press the button in on the microphone, it sounds the chime. And then the ready-to-talk light comes on and you can talk. Hello, this is a test of the Simplex 4003. this back. And so what I'm going to do now is uh, we'll flip it around and set the system off and then afterwards I will activate uh, the all clear message right here. So here's the 4010. It's the same one from my old videos. And then we've got a Simplex 4099 addressable pull station on um, the UL listed back box. And a true alert speaker strobe which is on a retrofit plate. Um, I used the back box from the 4903 series notification appliances um, so that if I want to use any like sort of simplex speaker on a strobe plate, I can just swap it out pretty easily. Um, but with one of these retrofit plates, the True Alert speaker strobes will fit pretty well. And this box is in case I want to use any sort of remote strobe or add a smoke detector or heat detector or whichever. We've got a Simplex Class A ZAM module, um, which is dummied out right now, but that's in case I want to use a conventional pull station, and the Simplex True Alarm. Okay, so the 4003 is set to slow whoop, and the 4010 is going to be activating the True Alert strobe over SmartSync. So let's go ahead and pull it. Silence it. And 
the 4003 has been silenced and it's doing audible silence. And now let's reset it. No alarms present, and the system is back to normal. Okay, now we'll sound the all clear message. So you can actually set the tone that comes before the message, and I have it set on slow march time horn. As you can see, the strobe does not activate. Attention. Your attention, please. The building emergency condition has been cleared. You may return to your normal activities. And when you're done, you can just reset it like that. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as I mentioned, I have an entirely different demo board that I'm going to be demoing in the next video. And uh, hopefully after that, I'll make some more videos of this system with different coatings and different devices. So anyway, that's it for now, and uh, thank you all for watching.